All right, I want to welcome everybody that came tonight. I just want to remind you everything is being recorded, so watch what you say, I guess. We will too. So I'll call this meeting to order with the COBRA Board at Sunning Hill. I'm going to start out with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Mr. Secretary, roll call. Andrew Melchin, present. Dan Osborne, present. Andrew Strati, present. Gary McManaway, present. And John Christ is present. Also note that our building commissioner, Steve Gorski, is here too. Right. Next thing is for June 20th, 2024, our minutes. If everybody's had a chance to look at them. No questions or objections. I entertain a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve the June 20th, June 24th minutes. A second. We have first and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Same time. All right, unanimous. All right, case number 2024-B13 at 818 East Shore Drive in the Culver. Fish petition has been filed by Nick Ryan, David, and Catherine to approve a variance of development standards to request variance of four feet, four inches, and require a 10-foot setback for a proposed porch construction along the side yard south of you were presenting that? I am, yes. All right. We're going to go ahead and let us know what you're proposing. If you could give us your name and address, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Titus Parker with Black Diamond Builders, uh, 3254 West, 600 Wood, Leesburg, Indiana. 3254 West, 600 Wood, Leesburg, Indiana. Thank you. So there, uh, on the south side of the property right now, there's an existing uh, deck that comes out of the bre breakfast nook there. It's wrapped around the lake side, which would be the west. And it's kind of going in disrepair. So the clients, uh, the, well, the Nikolais would like to remove it and replace it with a concrete porch. Uh, and make it to accommodate the, uh, both her parents are in wheelchairs or be living with them during the summer. So they'd like to accommodate a couple wheel, uh, make that a wheelchair accessible for that double bullet nook and accommodate a couple of wheelchairs down there. And we'd like to carry a straight line off of the, the, the south side of the house. And then it would wrap around to the west side and carry back to uh, one of the bump outs of the house, well, it would be a living room area there. Uh, we'd actually be losing square footage on the deck on the west side. We wouldn't extend it out, but we would be getting into the setback on the south side. It would be covered. It would be covered, yeah. Yeah, they'd like to you know, put the grandparents out there. Well, what's the actual size of the deck? The the new one that they're putting on, or the the one they're going to replace it with? No, the one that they want to put on. Yeah. No. That is like I'm sure we would like to do an action. Thank you. 
it'll be 40 by 10 on the uh it'd be 40 by 10 on the south side and then it would be 21 well uh, 21 by uh about 16 on the west side but that the 10 feet that would overlap is in return all right okay i'm a little confused as to how you came up with those measurements and actually what is what is new and what is existing based upon the things that we have here in front of us yeah i mean i see I, i'm looking at the foundation plan and i see an area called crawl space i'm assuming that that is okay that's existing this is kind of yeah so, so okay, so you're talking 40 foot four inches. Yeah. And then the, okay. This is what? the the nook right yeah. here is 10 feet. Okay. So we'll stay this out of this, I guess. Okay. But that doesn't get into a setback actually. Right. Well, so then come out of here. Okay. Right. Now even that is so bad for it's used because if this is a poor right. foundation, where that's this is gonna house? That's and if you're like requesting that's Four foot four inches. So or is that being yeah, measured? Yeah. Out? So the property line goes like this. If you look at the site plan, so the four foot four inches that you would need is right here. So this actually doesn't get into the setback here. So I, I, I guess I guess I would question from the I would question correct. Yes, what this is from the property yes. line. Yes. Since there's no notation of where the property line is, and just to say well, it doesn't come into right. it, we don't know the angle. Do we have right there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys, do you guys have it? One thing I got to find is the area, and that's not giving me any second floor. Floor plan. We have the only thing that shows boundaries is is the. I might not have that. EIS thing. Sorry. Oh, okay. But, yeah, yeah. better then. Sorry, I was I was gonna bring the bigger version, but I didn't. I apologize. Can you, this is actually the site plan with the proposed layout. So if you see here, so this is what they're looking at right now. The little tiny. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be the south. Oh, okay, you're right. Right. Yeah. Right. So this is seven. Oh, yeah, you do. Seven point one feet. If we look here, was what we have mm -hmm. left over. But that's mm -hmm. not. That's the foundation. So that's not. We calculating a four inch over here. Yeah, it does look like a kind of change. What I came up with on mine. Uh, you know, well, I, I guess how accurate, accurate. What I'm saying is, I don't see, drawing. I don't see this bump out here. Yeah, part of there. So, yeah. so I mean, as I look at as I look at this, yeah, it does look like it's not parallel to this to the house here, but mm -hmm. it's not that off that much offset. And if, if you're talking about putting a four foot bump out here, yeah, that 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 causes me some great concern. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, well, not the purpose of the house. Well, right, so you guys know how to plan, right? Right, here's what we have. Yeah, let's see if you have because they've been, and then you took that one, yeah, yeah, see, that was not the way I have one. So, right here there's they did no way no, no, still not very yeah. big but it's going to okay got a so. little bigger up there i'm sorry oh he's looking at this yeah yeah so i i know i see what you're saying this this site plan right no this drawn site plan does not accommodate for the bump out that they added right here okay and just looking at that 
that bump out if it's four foot, you're right. you're looking at getting pretty darn close to the property line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so here's what okay. bigger one. This is this is done. So this here is. This building here is does is, is what is, is what is what's he's got on the on the property line. Okay, okay. No measurement anywhere of where any of this stuff is in relation to property line, and this does not include this pump out. You just said that's going to happen. And okay, you're giving there, and that and that and that is four foot. Yeah. Okay, now this is already existing. What is six foot six inches? Um, here's something. So this is says this is seven. Seven. Uh, it would be five foot six inches. They're asking for a variance. Yeah. Four feet, four feet, four inches. So and that's on the south side to yep. here. Okay, so so the way I'm reading what they're asking for is. This is four foot four this inches from somewhere on, no. on this property line. No. But this property line is not parallel so to, to the, the house. The house. Right. Okay. So we have, right. and then, we have some more questions for you, Titus. Sure. And then and these pictures we've got to come up. Yeah. Is that this guy? Is that a there pictures yeah. down? Does he what what what's yes. there is. Okay. Yeah. Right. So this is so how far is this from this, this right here? I'm assuming mm -hmm. is the property line. That's correct. And this no, 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 no. to that property here's line. Here's right. from the is there right there. Right. Okay, so this is okay. from here to here. He says, is 10. That's correct. And you're this is not running for four thousand four inches. It's up about there. there uh, well, yeah, we would like a variance to come out right here. Yeah, it's not here. here. The deck would uh, the, the this porch would actually this thing line here. up with this nook and head off toward the lake. There's okay. not and since the property line is at an angle, this by the time you get to the point of the back, okay. That's that's okay. He just so, just so the variance is needed where the, the porch space is kind of right, 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 right where it's turned at. And, um, and he also said it, it does not include so gutters in the old tank. Things going to line up with this. Yeah, we'll come. Well, right. it's, so it's not, not going to come any further. This right here? That's correct. Okay, I thought well, my math that, is looks like you're throwing money around. Right? It's, it's not mine. Go from there. I've been mine. Nine more from here. <laughs> yeah, I didn't good matter. The, the, no, the right. variance is at the corner <laughs> because of the property line. It's, because of the way this line's right. It's yeah, yeah, the house isn't built square on the lot. Right. Yeah, but it's not that uh, that the much offset if you look at it. No. Right. So this is where the variance is. Is that corner? That's not because, because it's right angling. Here. It's angling. Right. But they've got right. that bump out on the ground. Right. That's the correct. Yeah, it's been added. Yeah, actually, it's used by whatever so, reading. If you see this, this where it's going, yeah, this yeah. is added yeah. as the correct. It went on. Okay, so the uh, queen doesn't know anything about that. We found that. Okay, that's correct. Right there. Right there. So this is the bump house, right? That's correct. Yeah. So the house actually goes out further than that bump. House. That's correct. Because the second floor right here, yeah, it's correct. hangs over further than the bump. House. Yeah. Do you know what that distance from that eave is to the property line? So I don't know that one. I do know this one that the eave to the property line is eleven feet, or not nine feet right here, and then the wall is ten feet. Just picture seven point one inches. Yeah, on one side. Yeah, and that was closer than. So, Tyus, what's the distance from the bump out to the property line at the closest point? Uh, the wall is 10 feet. The eave, or not the eave, the, the second story bumps over one foot. So that takes it to nine feet. And then the overhang of the roof, eave of the roof, and I guess would be at eight feet. I'm sorry. And to add 
more to the confusion on another plan, on the first floor plan, where we see the covered porch. It shows a number of steps on the south side yeah. and a number of steps on the lake side mm -hmm. that extend out from the foundation. So yeah. I'm going to assume that that also would have to be. You would have to measure from 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 that a step. And you said this would be covered. We yes. are you talking about going to have a roof over it? Yes. How high is that going to be, and what? On the walls around it, it's going to be open. It's going to be completely open. Yeah. But how far is it going to extend past the foundation line that you have here? Around here. The, so the overhang would be 12 inches, and you have five inch gutters. So that's how you go from the 7.1 there down to the, the 5.8. Okay. Okay. So that. That one foot plus five inches is still less than the four foot on the bump out. That's true. so the so the bump out is going to be three point one inches. The um, let's see, twelve and five is seventeen. So that's seven inches. So it's going to extend out two feet seven inches beyond. The gutter. That would be correct. So then, in essence, we're looking at some some amount less than four, four foot four four foot four inches. I mean, can I ask a question? So the, the deck itself is going to be removed, and it's going to be a concrete patio. Yeah. Okay. And then really what we're talking about here is the variance for the for the roof covered portion of the porch. Right. Not for the porch itself, because it's going to be flat work. There's right. going to be the variance will need to be counted towards the roof is what we should be looking at. The steps don't matter. They do. Especially, it's, it, Especially it's, it, it shows that it's a poured a poured foundation for this bump out. So it's a support foundation. So that's where we have to. I'm guessing we have to know what amount you're asking for. My concern is kind of concrete steps and concrete concrete steps could be. Considered permanent. Yep. And I, I, I don't uh, really understand hardship or compensated variance. I'm just going to, for, for my sake, Titus. Yeah. So the steps coming out are going to be actually. Total width out will be less than what the bump out is. But if we're measuring from the corner of the property, if the house is not sitting square on the property, as was stated, so we're still looking is the bump out closer or the corner of the property or where the steps and closer to the property line? Because again, it, with the property line, the house not sitting yeah. square on the property. I, I, uh, I, your steps are going to be closer out at the point there. Closer and do you know that line. distance? Change steps would be closer to the property line? Yeah. 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 We don't have that distance here. So, so the the steps have come out 13 feet from the house, which would put them uh, to 7.1, you would actually increase that. Yeah. 
So it'd be four plus six is what it would actually be. What you would have left over, not the seven more. If we're going to if you go up that last step. It's four feet, six inches to the property line. Right at the very end of the car of the car. Instead of five inches, instead of five inches. So right. so, the request for the variance is four feet four inches. Right. So it's not the math. It's the math doesn't. Accurate. The math that doesn't add up to for me. Right. Right. And and yeah. as I see, as I see this, there is there there is no measurements anywhere to indicate exactly what how far the overhang on the. On the, on the bump out is, uh, you, you just gave us some measurements of the steps, but they don't say, yeah. you know, how, what the tread is on each of the steps. And it looks to me like there's three steps before you even get up to the porch. The porch. So we don't know what the rise is of the steps. We don't know what the tread is of the steps. And I guarantee you, we fled measures. Yeah, right. Um, so and if you're if you're requesting four foot four inches from the southwest corner or south yeah southwest corner of the foundation plan. Um, again, not knowing what the the angle is of the property line relative, but it's not going to be that sharp. It, it looks, you know, maybe, 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 maybe five feet from the from the eastern boundary yeah, to the western the, boundary. You're talking three feet further to the west. What that corner is, uh -huh. which three feet further from that set point one, probably something, something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess what I'm saying is, if, if he's asking, you said seven point one, but you're asking for a variance of four point four. Well, so he's asking for a reduction of four point four. So he's probably asking for a five feet eight inch. Oh. It, is that what you're asking for, for or is it actually four feet hurting. four inch from the property line? Well, yeah, that was yes. Yeah. yeah. So they're still asking for four, four feet four inches from the property. Yeah. Four feet four. That's what they want the end of their construction to be. Yes. Four, four feet four, four inches from the property line. Okay. I do have one other question. Sure. Is this proposed uh porch here without the bump out? Uh -huh. Is that even with the southern boundary of the existing house? It's even with the southern boundary of the breakfast nook. That the second story right actually, here. I'm, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm just I'm just asking. Yeah. Is is this here? Yes. Even with this area here. Yes, yes. but not from the foundation. Yes. Yeah, the enough. foundation is uh, one foot further north. Okay. We can talk about a straight line with the other. We're talking about parallel. Okay, so with the wall, yes. So no. if you're if you're for argument's sake, if you're seven foot one inch here, we don't know what you are here. But it's fair to say that it's probably going to be more than seven point one, but it's not going to be that much because as you look at this, yes, it's not an angle, but I'm mm -hmm. going to guess. This is maybe five foot wider than here. Just well here. There you go. 90 feet, 6.69 inches, 102. So it's 12, 12 feet. 12 feet okay, difference. It's 12 feet difference mm -hmm. over the course of 368 feet. Yeah. So, so that that bump out here is going to be. Less than 7.1 or more than 7.1, but we don't know how much more. Well, yeah, if but, we don't have the bump out. 
without, without the bump out. Without, without the bump out. Well, but the steps will be closer than the bump out. Um, yeah, but right. But but the but the bump out has a poor foundation. So that's kind of where we have to measure from. As I see it. I mean it I mean, foundation plan shows a poor footing for the bump out. What is that bump out for? They were just trying to get their grill out from underneath the the porch, so it wasn't fire hazard. Okay. My concern is with where the steps are going to come out on the west side when it extends on over from that corner. We can't go by the seven point one. We'd have to know what that measurement is for those three steps. Yeah. Coming towards the property. Coming back this way, they come out from here to here. I know they're not on a change, but it's coming to us at 7.9. Well, I mean, with the E and the gutters, I said that's 5 inch. Yeah. That's the end of construction. You want to me? Figuring on what number? What for the E and 5 inches for the gutter? Right, how far from the property line? Where do you get the five point eight? Seven one minus. Well, you can't use seven one because it's less than that for it can be proposed. Well, I, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, the, the, that's steps, what I'm saying. We're looking at the seven point one, but the seven point one is not a legitimate number. It change those steps. It change. changes that steps. The steps change up. Steps change up. Mm -hmm. You said from the. Southwest corner of the bottom step, it was four feet six inches. Is that what I heard? Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, well we don't have anything to do with that approach. Yeah, you know, the proposed porch should have had our measurements and finished project. So I put ask ask all of you what specific measurements would you like to see? I would like to see on the far south west corner of the bottom step what that distance is from the property line south. I would also like to see what the southern edge of the bump out boundary is at both of the corners on there to the southern property line. Mm -hmm. I would like to know the distance of that second story as it relates to the southern property line current. mm -hmm. currently. Currently? Yeah. I would like that currently and proposed. Yeah. Yeah. Every question I have dealing with that southern property line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the southwest corner. Right. But taking that to the southern property line. Yeah. I'd like to see an overlay of that exactly what's existing and what's proposed. And I want the property line on both. Uh, for the exactly. So you have you have a you have an option. Yeah. And one of your options is to ask it to be tabled to next month to, to mm -hmm. come back with the, all the information. If the if the BZA board, this board were to vote and vote no, you couldn't come back for another year. Okay. To ask for that. Yeah. And honestly, we wouldn't really want to have to vote on it yeah. without the information either, because in the past. It's happened that people didn't have that and we requested that they come back as well with those measurements. I mean, we, we specifically have to know this information mm -hmm. when we can approve. So what if we remove the uh the bump out and the steps on the south side? We still would need to know what we the exact measurement, measurement we still would need to know what the exact measurements are. Right. Yeah. I think that's fine with too. Yeah. 
and then we'll come back with the measurement back to that. Yeah. Yeah, so it lines up to use like that. Any information you have, that would be a good Yeah. 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 Our next meeting is August 15th. And I guess we probably have to look at the table. Till then. Every table. Case 2024 B13 until the August 15th. Second. Second. First and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Who seconded it? I did. Okay. Aye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, nice to have you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Any new business? Any new business? No one concerns anywhere? A lot of things being dealt down. Not as, nowhere near what we had going on last year. Yeah. Um, Dan brought this up before, and I. I, I'm seeing more and more of it. I've got lots more questions about that executive storage building. I mean, you're starting to see you're starting to see stairs go up, and you're starting to see separations. And we know that there's going to be bathrooms, and you're seeing enclosed porches. Blah 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 blah. And and you know, we all had this concern about uh, how it's going to be policed that nobody's going to stay there overnight. Yeah, in terms as far as more people are going to be there doing anything other than storing there. Uh -huh. And I just think uh, you might want to question some of this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think I think Steve. I think Steve was not. He wasn't here yes. when we were going through all this. Stuff. Yes. And that's why I think he's a little bit on the outside. As far as understanding what's going on, what we were presented mm -hmm. and what they came back with with their architectural plans are different than what we basically approved. Yes, yeah, and I think the same thing. And I, I thought that one time, were you, Steve, going to get a copy of those for us? I've been looking through my old papers, and I can't find them. I can't find them. Either. You want site plans? Yeah, site plan written, written. And as built too. The site plan. Yeah. Well, as far as it'll build, we can see what built. See the matches right there. I was on the plan commission. This is pretty emphatic. There's right. No, no, no residential. Right. 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 And, 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 and a lot of uh, public input on that as well. Yes. Because it will be a condominium regime. They'll have an HOA for the owners. Well. And that's. We were assured through work, Richard said, uh, Allen Counts attorney, the project's attorney, that that would be included in the HOA. In fact, I think, I can't say for sure if you mentioned penalties or not for that or how that would work, but the ultimate penalty is, Burke said, non-compliance would be, you not could stay there anymore. What's the issue that I would like to find out about? Because I think, I mean, I don't remember, which that doesn't make it right wrong. But the building that's toward the east was over the cross there, back behind the others. Yeah. I do not remember on the plan that building. Even being. It is. It was. Yeah, I think the other concern I have is, you know, we, when we granted that variance, it was for executive storage. Now, does that mean they're all rentals or can they be purchased or they're kind of minimums they'll be each unit will be purchased okay so i didn't think that was really important. i didn't know that i, I mean I, either do you remember that though i don't i mean the way i understood they were they, they were going to be they were going to be storage it was storage rental storage for rental the rvs or both right correct yeah yep this is exactly right, but I don't think it's... Every, everything I have 
was was set up it was set up as a condominium regime in there well it'll be so it'll it'll be just like owning a condominium home except it's a condominium storage unit i don't i don't i i I don't recall any of that and i don't don't either i know it came before the planning commission several times yeah andrew i know you were there and dan was there and I remember we we had them down. come back because we had them make some adjustment. Yeah, and and we had them come back too. Right. So I mean, we're talking about several trips between several meetings. I mean, because the first proposal was that the upstairs would be roughed out for like the plumbing. And the idea of them finishing it off, and I thought that's where we said. But they said that's for storage and yeah, whatever else they did. But I thought that's where we said no to the idea of making it a residence. Right. And I can say that I remember emphatically uh, that there was going to be no kind of residence, no kind of overnight stay. Right. And that and that it would be written into the agreement right. that they could not stay overnight and it would be grounds for for removal. Except if they told you you can't remove it. But I didn't know they were going to own it. See, right. this if is the first I've heard of it, of it being a condominium. Under, can you have an HOA ownership and still restrict somebody from spending on that overnight? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's what question one way or the other as far as ownership. Personally, it's because usually under ownership, of a building on top of the ground, you don't own the property. So I've heard you'd like, this this group would like to see as a site plan as built and compare that to what was approved. Correct. Uh, if possible, I made a note here if they have one ready to see what their HOA agreement is. So if, if it's available, I'll see if I get a copy of that to okay. present you all also. Okay. I, really I think, think that would be very helpful to have. Is there anything else on that right. that you want to see? That's what I don't understand. I remember Bert specifically saying that it was a rental agreement, not an HOA. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. But that, that, I mean, under a minute, that ought to be a lot of that information. Exactly. Yes, yeah. it's need to go back. I wonder if we could get a hold of Don Fox. Your oh, plan commission minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we I, mean I, I can access yeah. you know, the BZA the minutes. BJ I just can't access them right here because. But I, but I was one of both. Yeah. We, I mean, we, we were. Get, we need to get BZA and plan commission a little bit together here and figure out what came and, out. Well, we could have a workshop meeting between the two. Mm-hmm. Couldn't make an executive mm-hmm. meeting out of it. So, but we want to get the information first. Yeah, right. So yeah. We, I will, the, the past minutes, I'll, I'll look for those okay, that'd and be, see if I can pull those and, and put this put a package together for y'all. Okay. You know, I had even contacted Dan Adams to see if he had the past BZA minutes and he didn't get back with me. So apparently he didn't. So they're 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 publicly accessible. Right. Exactly. And our YouTube exactly. channel is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll dig them up for you though, Mike. Quicker. Yeah. We got a question or comment. No. I'm not here. Okay. I'm Maureen Dickinson at 522 Main Street, and. That stuff is going up super fast. And by the time you do a work, figure this out between these minutes and these minutes, days will go by, a week or so, two weeks will go by. And do you know how far they're going to be? Why can't you do a stop until you guys figure it out? Can you do we wouldn't have the grounds to stop it unless we have the grounds for proof. No, we okay. can't, can't stop the work on it unless there's some violation and we don't know that there's a violation. Until we get find out if there is or not, we can't stop. And I understand your concern because I'd be the same way. This all the time. And I know, but this particular group. This particular group does this all the time around town. I can't say that loud. You don't have to. I did. 
Can I get your address again? <laughs> I, I, I don't know the house. I'm going to do this all the time with the piece. I'm Maureen, 522 South Street. No, we appreciate that very much. Same thing. It's a big, it's a big concern in this community right now. It's the, it's, it's why I'm here tonight. There's a lot of concern and there's a lot of talk in the, within the community of what is what they're seeing versus what they thought was they were supposed to be seeing. And we have heard the same thing from okay. several people. But that's why we discussed it. Yeah, tonight. thank you. That's the reason we brought it up, honestly, because mm -hmm. we've been here. Uh, and, and the technical term for what they're building is a barn barn mini, mini. barn mini because of the height of the front roll up door and the rear roll up door and the plumbing, the trains, the steps. It's taken lots of so, so a, a barn to mini. So, so to clarify, barn to mini is post frame construction. These, these are not post frame construction. Uh, barn aluminium could be any type of construction. Uh, it's it, it, though it's by by definition, it, the post frame construction is, is what you can look at barn aluminium. But I've been researching those for myself lately. Oh, don't want one. But they're post frame construction. So this is built on full foundation. With the footers poured and and all. If you want they're they're built well. It's just are, the question that I hear tonight is: Are they? being built correctly not correctly it's not the question i don't think you're hearing i think the question is it's not whether it's being built correctly it's is what is being built what was approved that's different right but what the building commissioner you're talking about yes yeah. correctly according to what was approved okay uh, for Thanks, doing Steve. correctly, it's up to the county i'll gather that information <laughs> for you all all right just come i right. appreciate it yeah Thanks, All right, any more new business that we seem to pass up a lot of times when they get her to get out? <laughs> Not me, that is. <laughs> All right, any more other concerns? We'll go with the building commissioner report. So I'd like to take this off of the agenda and I'm just gonna email this when I get these done. It's usually later in the month when I have everything put together. Right. So instead of giving you the same answer every month, I'm just gonna email it to you. I'd like, if, if you all are in agreement with that, yeah, I'll take fine. it off and I'll just I mean, send it when it's ready for the, yeah. everybody else. Uh, would you then wish that once you email it, that I incorporate it into yes. these minutes. Yes. Um, so that, that that's up to you. It's, think, it's, it think, definitely goes into I the. I think it should for be. The record, I think we have to. for the record. I think we have. To. Okay, then then. Well, it's a, it's a public. I can send it out as a public record. They'll be recorded in the town council meeting right. minutes. But I'd rather have it as well as under a BZA. Yeah, minute. I. I agree. That's totally up to. That's up to yeah, you. Like that. I mean, I think. I mean, we're sworn to another to do it right. So I think this is doing it right. All so, right. so then the minutes will not be forthcoming until until we get the uh, okay. we're building commissioner office. That's fine. Uh, okay. On track. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, I'll, I, I, I'll do that. Uh, they'll be ready next week. We need okay. to make a motion to direct building commissioner. <laughs> okay. Now. Okay. Uh, next meeting, regular meeting, 6.30 p.m. Thursday, August 15th. So that's going to be a full agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, it'll be, they should, at this time, there's at least three cases. Yeah. One of them I thought was going to be tonight. Yeah, this will be coming, yeah. tonight's case will be coming back, right? Right. So oh, four, at least four cases. At least four cases. Yeah, I was into a 10 o'clock speed. Yeah. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll bring food. That's right. Before, <laughs> kids yeah. before the next meeting, I will send you all each case, if you want that electronically, okay. pictures, everything to preview it. Maybe it saves some time. Yeah, that, that would be helpful because I did drive by your location. 
And considering that there's a stone wall up there, it was kind of hard to see. Yeah. Get a line of sight. And I, didn't, I, would, I, I didn't I didn't want to walk into the property. I would request that I get hard copies on my mailbox. Yep. <laughs> I, I, that's a standing request. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? I'm good. No, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I kind of tear off your name, so I'm still coming in. All right. Other than that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. First and second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Aye. Are you opposed? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I thought you said you were opposed. You must stick around. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I. I...